In this video, we're going to complete example one. Gerald is seven years from retirement and he currently has $450,000 in his superannuation fund. His fund accrues interest at a rate of 8% per annum compounded annually. His employer contributes 9.5% of his yearly income to his super fund. This is just $15,000 every year. Fill in the blanks below to calculate the money he will have in his fund after he retires. Now, before we fill in these three blanks, we need to understand what's going on in this table here. You'll notice on the left we have our payment numbers. So when we talk about the payment number zero, this represents the beginning. And at the beginning, we are told that Gerald has $450,000 in his superannuation fund. And we can see that over here on the right, the balance of Gerald's annuity. When we go to the second row, we come to payment number one. This represents the payment at the end of the first year. So first of all, we see that a payment was received of $15,000. And we mentioned that his employer contributes $15,000 every year. So this is the payment here. And then there was some interest that was earned. So how did they come up with the amount of $36,000? Well, we're told that the interest rate is 8% per annum and it's compounded annually. So it's 8% of something. It's 8% of the amount of money that was sitting in the bank account at the beginning of the year. Now we're currently on row two, which is the end of year one at the beginning of the year we had four hundred and fifty thousand dollars so if we were to calculate eight percent of four hundred and fifty thousand dollars it would come out to thirty six thousand dollars this is where they get the interest from in fact let's check this eight percent or point zero eight of $450,000 times $450,000 gives us $36,000. Let's check another one. Let's check the interest earned here. This should be 8% of the previous annuity balance. So bringing up our calculator, 8% is 0.08 times 615,566.4 and we get $49,245.31 which is what we have here. So I reckon we can fill in one of the blanks already. The interest earned here, it's going to be 8% of our previous annuity balance. So to calculate our interest earned, we're going to take 8% or 0 0.08 and multiply it by our amount, which is $824,132.38. $824,132.38. Let's see what we get. 0 0.08 times 824,132.38 and it comes to $65,930.59. All right, so let's write this in our blank spot. $65,930.59. Now next we need to talk about principal increase. What does What is this talking about? Well, what you'll notice is that each time you get two payments, you get a payment from your employer, which is always $15,000, and you also get some interest. And what's great about the interest is that the interest keeps increasing. And this is because as your balance of the annuity increases, your interest increases also. Now what's going to happen when I add these two amounts together? $15,000 plus $36,000. $15,000 plus 
$1,000. These are the two sources of income that you're getting here. And it comes out to $51,000, which is your principal increase. So when we're talking about principal increase, we're talking about how much extra money is going in your account. These two added together. So to calculate our principal increase down the bottom, we just need to add together our payment received and the interest that we earned. So our principal increase is found by adding up 15000 to $65,930.59. All right, 15000 plus $65,930.59, and we get $80,930.59. $80,930.59. That's our principal increase. We'll write it down here. Lastly, we need to talk about the balance of our annuity. And the balance of our annuity is basically the amount of money that's sitting in our super fund at one particular time. We notice it keeps going up each time. And it's going up by the amount of principal increase. The principal increase is basically how much extra money has gone into your super fund. So you'll notice if I take the first balance and add it to the principal increase, that it takes you to the next balance. So all we need to do down the bottom is take the previous balance, add it to our principal increase, and this will give us the last blank spot. So the balance of our annuity is the previous balance here, 824,132.38, added to our principal increase, $80,930.59. That's $80,930.59. And bringing up our calculator, we've already got this value here entered in. So we just need to add it to the value on the left, 824,132.38 comes to $905,062.97. All right, we need to enter this into our blank space. It's going to be a little hard to fit in there, $905,062.97. And that concludes our video on example one. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.